obsessed. I had to play her. I knew in my spirit that, that this role was, was something that I, you know, was willing and ready to take on. I just loved how how just of a, how much of a strong woman she was and how just much she she believes she fights for what she believes in and she's, you know, like an advocate for education like her father and, you know, if anything we're the first black superhero family on network TV, so to be able to give a voiceover to that, and I think our show, what, we, we, what we're striving for is just to bring hope that, that, that we can make a change within our country, and I think right now it's, it's, it's timely and it's necessary and we need it. It's been way too long. I didn't have a black superhero to look up to as a little girl, so I'm just, I think, most excited that, that brown little girls are going to have myself in China to, to, as an image of themselves. So it's really easy for me to tap into this character. I have two younger sisters, one who's only a few years younger than China. So it's really easy for me to, you know, step in and play this role. Um, we definitely love each other. We have a lot of fun together, and um, we like are obsessed with each, with each other off camera. So I'm sure it's going to translate. And you know, like like real sisters, you just feel, I'm sure you'll see some real life stuff going on. From leaking tall builders to going off like Yamaha bombs. Switch your internet browser to commonsunline.com.